Like if I really wanted to bite someone, I'd be like, and you're done. Peep the merch. I'm just here to review this product. This is about the product. This is not about him. This is about the product. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I'm doing another Fuego or No Fuego series, but if y'all have not already noticed, it is not Sunday. Last Sunday was Mother's Day, and then this Sunday, I just, I don't know what happened. I'm just trying to be more consistent. Uh, I wanna post these Fuego or No Fuego's every week. You know, sometimes things do come up, so I do apologize. Uh, I'm really trying to figure this out. <laughs> but for today's video, we are gonna actually be reviewing the new Jeffree Star Concealers. <sighs> You guys, I literally actually got this in the mail over a week ago. I did order this on my own, obviously, and last week I was supposed to do this, I didn't do it. So here we are this week. And before we do get started, I quickly want to show you guys my new merch that is dropping really, really soon. I actually wore this hoodie in my... How does it go? Uh, it's called the letting the person in front of me choose what I eat for 24 hours. I had the hoodie on in the last bit and people were like, oh my God, where's that hoodie from? And I was like, it's my new merch. So I'm wearing the hoodie right now and it says, hello, I'm that bitch. Stay tuned, you guys, it is actually launching very, very soon. Go ahead and follow my Instagram for my merch. It is shop touch of glam. I'm gonna have it down in the description box so y'all can go out there. I'm so freaking excited. Ah! So today I'm actually gonna be trying out the concealers, which I think are the freaking cutest. I cannot wait to open this package up and the powder. So I actually ordered my products a little late, so I did kind of struggle choosing my shade and choosing a powder. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna be reviewing today and this is what I got. So without further ado, if you guys wanna see if I feel like this is fuego or no puedo, then let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so this is basically how the product looks. I absolutely, just have to say, I really never order products from Jeffree Star. I have to say I probably own like one lipstick and I haven't seen that lipstick in years. So I'm actually really excited to be trying out his products. Really nicely packaged, by the way. So I ordered this over a week ago. Obviously, you know, he's been like sold out of certain shades and who is texting me? I was able to pick up two shades for the concealers. So these are the Magic Star concealers. I got the color C1 and C10. I'm telling you guys, a lot of the shades were sold out and I was kind of sad. I was like, of course, of course they would be. <gasps> oh my God, I'm like literally, okay, I'm trying to get this out because it's so stuck. Ah, okay. <gasps> oh my goodness, this is so, you literally i don't know who like could be his packaging i'm actually shook this is so beautiful this little pink diamond we have up here is so chunky like this is so much bulkier than i thought and i'm absolutely living for it i've been seeing some reviews where people say like the star will break knowing how i am with my makeup i probably will break it eventually so this is in the shade c1 c1 is probably i think like the first shade before the white one if i'm not mistaken i'm telling y'all they were there was like no options for me anymore but i also picked up the color c10 because i was like obviously c1 might not be it why is it so hard for me to get this out? Ah, okay, there you go. Oh, these together just look so cute. I can't get over this. As you can see, C1 is a lot more pale, which definitely might not do it. Actually, it might, I don't know, I'll have to see. And this is C10. The color that I was looking at definitely was sold out. So like, these are literally the only colors I thought I could get that I could make work. I was like, well, c one's gonna be too pale. C10 might be a little darker. So if I could mix in, that'd be perfect. I'm not sure if he like restocked again. I ordered this over a week ago. So you might wanna check. And he also came out with the Magic Star setting powders. I got the color Rose. I literally wanted to get the transparent one. I was so sad but rose was the only color that i saw that might suit me i feel like i definitely when using powders if i have to choose between like yellow or pink i will do pink all right so this is how it looks boom boom okay so i actually have my brows on and eyes done i went ahead and primed my face i actually think i'm gonna do my foundation but i want to show you guys how i look with no foundation so you can get an idea how these blackheads blackheads how these under eye bags look. So this is how it's looking so far. I don't really use corrector. I actually purchased the Nikita Dragon corrector and I just think I'm not used to correctors. Like I can't get used to using it. Let me know what you guys feel about it. I feel like I continue to try to give it a chance. I might be just using it wrong. Like, please let me know, I need help because I really do like the product. It doesn't move. Once I have it on, it looks good. I just feel like sometimes the orange might peek through a little bit. I don't know, like, please let me know what the best way to apply this because I'm, I feel like I'm struggling and I kind of do like how it brightens but sometimes it can become like heavy and I just 
I need your help. So I think I might just obviously put foundation on because that's how I do my makeup. And then I'm gonna leave this area empty. I always do that. I know some people when they put foundation, they like go under. I'm gonna leave this area empty so we can really see the coverage of this concealer. So I'll be right back in one, two, three. All right, face is on. I just wanna say how I just am such a messy person. I mean, I literally cannot not stain myself with anything. Like I was just drinking coffee, okay? Just coffee, I was like, I'm good, I'm good. And I. I got coffee on my hoodie. You know what? At this point, I'm just gonna accept that I'm a pig and I just can't eat clean. It doesn't fail. It doesn't matter what I'm wearing. I could be wearing black and I will still get it dirty. I'm gonna start obviously with C1 just to kind of see like, ah, okay, I'm sorry. These are sharp. I just hurt myself right now trying to open this. Like if I really wanted to bite someone, I'd be like, and you're done. I would literally keep this away as far as possible from kids. See, this is not gonna work for me because I, I hurt myself. So let's actually do it. Hey, yo, my dog just, just biting his leg off. Stop it. So the applicator, it has like a hole on it. So it collects more product. And I've tried lipsticks like this and it's very, very true. So the applicator has like an angle so it can sit nicely. And I, oh. Why does shit like this always happen to me? But like I said, the applicator is curved so it fits perfectly under the eye and there is a hole in there and it's supposed to collect a lot more product. Basically, I don't know the best way to describe it. Jeffrey described it really, really well in his video. So just to get like a little overview about this concealer before I do get started, it says, this creamy formula comes in over 30 shades, helps even out skin tone, has 20% pigment and can cover tattoos. I don't have tattoos to test, but if it can cover tattoos, it could definitely cover my dark circles. So it helps reduce also the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and we love that we love smooth skin it does come with 0.15 fluid ounces I'm just gonna make an example okay here's this is obviously a lot bigger this is a Too Faced born this way and this has 0.50 fluid ounces. I absolutely love this concealer. Another example is the Becca concealer. This one is 0.21 ounces. So compared to the Jeffree Star 0.15, I guess there's less product, but we haven't tested it out yet. Maybe it's a really, really good coverage. So the concealers are actually $22. That is a very good price for a concealer considering it's Jeffree Star. I mean, I've always looked at his makeup as like very high end because of how the product looks like i'm really not kissing like i said i never ever order from him but i really really love the way he packages his products i'm gonna try to just start off with this color it's obviously very very light but we will see so let's go ahead and start yeah that is light okay that's light you know i feel like i can get away with it though i don't know i love the applicator i feel like it gets in there really really well it really feels like it's gonna be full like coverage it doesn't feel lightweight it is kind of giving me tart shape tape vibes just maybe a little less heavy because i feel like the tart shape tape is just way too thick for me it's like a lot i know it's a very popular concealer and i love it but it's so thick and that is definitely very very light for me so i'm gonna take the shade c10 i really think maybe for winter like this would actually work i wanted to get the white shade too but i just didn't end up getting it i feel like the white shade would be very convenient for like colorful shadows i don't know why i didn't get it actually i should have really got it yeah c10 is almost like my exact color so it wouldn't really do much i'm glad i picked these two up so i could mix them together and we're just gonna go in and blend this out it's definitely staying in place. The product is not moving around a lot. I thought maybe the sponge was gonna collect a lot of it, but wow, this feels really, really good. Okay, I think we have a good, good shade here. Oh my goodness, that was just one go. Another thing that I forgot to mention, I feel like people are gonna be like, why are you reviewing these Jeffree Star concealers right now after all this beauty community was like up in flames like a couple days ago? But honestly, like I said, I ordered this over a week ago. I'm like not picking sides or anything. I'm just simply here reviewing the concealers. I ordered them and I'm sure people still want to see how I feel about them. I just wanted to clear that out. So that's the tea on that. Uh, but as you guys can see, side by side, it definitely did something. I think this is actually a really good mix. I did pretty freaking well. So if y'all are really like desperate to buy these concealers and your shade not there you can always mix let's go ahead and try c10 on its own yeah so this is it alone and look i'm like not picking up more product this is just one dip it just goes on and on you know what 
I actually think this might be my color. I don't know if you guys noticed, look, when I tap, it's not removing the product. There are some concealers I work with or even foundations. Once I take out the beauty blender, it starts picking everything up and then you start peeking through and seeing all the reds. But with this, I don't know if you can see, it is still staying there. Right off the bat, I don't want to say this concealer is like super, super heavy, but I do, I just can't stand really lightweight concealers. I feel like lightweight concealers are so pointless to me. I'm applying a concealer to cover up my dark circles. And if a concealer cannot do that, then that is just not a concealer to me. These I want to say are more on the medium to full coverage. It could be buildable. Actually, I have not tried to build it up. So actually let's test that out. I'm going to take more of my C10 on the left side and see how buildable it is. Because sometimes some concealers might look amazing at first and then they just, just get really cakey. I want to say that the formula almost feels velvety, if that makes any sense. Like I really like the way it's sitting on the skin. I'm going to go actually in with a little bit of C1. That way it could look even if like this side is looking a lot more bright than this side. And I actually think I might actually use both of these on a daily to get a good mix. But you see how much product that gives and that's just going in just a little bit. That applicator is definitely coming in handy, honey. I am living for it. I've seen this applicator a lot in like lipsticks and stuff like that. I don't think I've really seen it in concealers. Wow, okay, well let's actually take this in the chin. I feel like some people just want to see, you know, products get toxic. You know? And you know, we, we love tea too, but this is, this is good. I don't know if y'all could see those creases. I don't expect at all for a concealer to not crease without powder. So the whole creasing is com- <laughs> I hate when I'm talking and I'm like trying to burp. The whole creasing is completely normal, just saying. We're gonna move on to the rose powder. Now, unfortunately, because it is rose, I don't think I'm gonna set my entire face with it. Like I said, I was really trying to get my hands on that translucent powder and it was sold out. And I've heard the powders smell so good. Oh my God. Oh yeah, that smells like cotton candy for sure. Let's put it on the lid. Hmm. This rose color actually is like yellow. I could almost, Use it all over my face. I want to eat this. Can I eat this or is that am I gonna die? And we're just gonna dip right on in and start setting now I like to bake honey. So we're gonna bake first Like I said, this is the rose color to me. It looks like yellow, but obviously I don't have the other ones to compare Obviously, this is gonna be a more rose color regardless. Ooh, oh my god. This is so strong some people don't like scents. I don't know why anybody would complain of cotton candy scent, to be honest. This is like <coughs> amazing. <coughs> oh my God. <coughs> I think it's just like so finely melded. <coughs> <coughs> so this is how the scent, <coughs> just bit myself. This is how the center of the face looks baked for now. I really uh, wanted to make sure I got full use out of this and I almost feel like if I just go over with a light brush and dust all over the place, it won't look so crazy. So I might just do that to really get full use out of it. So I'm gonna just get a fluffy brush and just kind of go over the rest of the face. Not really baking, just, you know, doing a light little wash over. And while I'm at it, I'm just gonna dust off the product because I don't like to bake for so long either because a girl gets pretty freaking cakey. All right, I am feeling very... I feel like my, my mind can come and eat my face right now. Like I literally have a full on cotton candy on my face. And I love that you can close it up because let's be honest, girl, I get messy as heck with powders and once it's closed, boom, close it up and that's it. I feel like, like I said, what is going on? Oh my God, I literally almost got a heart attack. My dog is like in the room. I thought he was like right by me and I saw cables moving like so fast and I literally thought like there is something in here. Oh, I'm like paranoid right now. Okay, so yeah, the powder has a very strong cotton candy scent, which I freaking love. Like I said, I don't know why anybody would complain about that. I think it's uh, pretty iconic. I'm living for the scent. And like I said, it is the color rose. I'm not sure how any other color looks because it's the only color that I purchased. Oh my god, there's like literally little specks of powder everywhere. That's the one thing with this. I feel like it's so, what is the word? Like finely melted? Is that is that the word? It's like, it makes me cough. Like I want to sneeze when I'm like applying it. I don't know if I just naturally just go ham with powder, but this is the first time with a powder that I'm like, oh my god, I need to sneeze. So I'm actually going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and we're going to see how it looks all put together after. Give you guys my final thoughts. Tell y'all if this is fuego or no puedo and all that juicy uh, details that 
y'all are waiting for. So uh, I'll be back in just a second. So this is pretty much how I look with makeup. I'm looking at my under eyes. They uh, look covered. So I guess you could say, I feel like I'm not the best example of having like the darkest under eyes. Yo, I sound so cocky right now. I'm really trying not to. Okay, let's just say that I've never struggled with like hella dark circles or I've cared much for them. It's definitely not like a super heavy full coverage concealer. I wanna say it's like medium coverage and you could build it up, but I'm not saying it's like the most full coverage concealer out there. And I can see what he was going for because sometimes not everybody wants like the most heavy concealer. You know what I'm saying? Cause even for me, like I love extreme coverage, but too heavy could be a little too cakey sometimes. I actually really like the concealers and like I was saying earlier, I feel like it gave me like a velvety feel. I think that like really made the application a lot softer. Right off the bat, me just holding the concealers, like I said, the stars are very sharp. You definitely don't just wanna go in there and like open it like you would regularly, like really fast with another concealer because one, you might break off the star and two, you might, you know, stab yourself a little bit. I could totally see why he did this packaging. I mean, it's so freaking cute. Have I tried more full coverage concealer? Yes, I have, um, but I do really, really like the product. I'm gonna say these products are Fuego, let the flames come. Yeah, so these are pretty bomb. The powder, I definitely have to say, it was very, very finely melted. Uh, it made me cough a lot. I like that I was able to use it around my whole face, even though it's like a rose undertone. I actually do want to test it out with flash right now. It has to be like flash proof, right? Oh wow. So these are flash proof. I almost feel like I see a little bit of like white, but that's honestly just me in general having like a light foundation, like concealers. I wanna be realistic and I wanna, you know, come across a product that is like no puedo, you know? So y'all can really get a feel for it. But these products are freaking good, y'all. Like, I mean, I'm not gonna purposely say no puedo just for the video. I'm gonna have to give this product a fuego as well, okay? These products are actually really, really good. And I like, I'm shook. I know like this whole, drama situation is going on and some people might feel really weirded, weirded out about this video that I'm posting it like around this time. I'm just here to review this product, you know? This is about the product, this is not about him, this is about the product and I have to say that I do freaking love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this Fuego or No Fuego video. I'm gonna try to post these once a week. I'm not sure if the whole Sunday situation is working for me because, oh, I hate it. I hate that it's like going wrong already, but I'm really trying you guys. If you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up because that always helps out. Do not forget to click that little bell that way you guys are actually notified when I post new videos. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. And your girl will see y'all in the next one. Bye.